All right, hey guys, this is Eddie again. Um, this is a video of my Egyptian sandfish. Um, there's not much about them. I'll tell you how to care for them and just like places that you can get them for good deals. All right, so here's their setup. There's two girls in here. They're named Sherver Laverne and Shirley. That's their tank, and they just got fed, but. I'll show you them anyways. They only have a um, an Exoterra heat bulb, and oh, it's too light. I can't see what it is. There's a heat Exoterra heat pad under there, and pretty soon I'm gonna get the Ex Exoterra um, 30 gallon that's coming out. So hold on, I'm gonna show you the sandfish. Get the sandfish stuff out real quick. Stuff's hard to do with one hand. So you need to get a tripod. Alright. Where's their tank? Um, these are really. Oh. There he is. Right there. Right there. Run. Ah, he's underground now. Alright, so the other one is right here. She's in the corner right there. That's Laverne, the other one was Shirley. Hey, what you doing, Bubba? What are you doing? Where do you, uh, where'd you go? Oh, he's gone. All right, so what to care for? What you need to, to for them to be cared for? All right, I'm using the calcium sand right now. Um, very good stuff. He's right there. Um, I recommend calcium sand because it's much better for these guys since they're in Egypt. So it's much better. Um, let's try to find him. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. All right, all right. So basic. They need a thermometer. A thermometer. This one is at 80 degrees, and they're a little below 80. But that's just right. Um, if wanted for decoration, you can use a plant like I do. They definitely need a low water bowl because they they don't drink much, but they should have one anyways, just for their health. Um. I recommend one or two 10 gallon, three, six, 20, and up for if you're getting a bunch. Um, you need a lid for sure. Um, you're gonna need an Exoterra heat pad. I don't know what it, which how much voltage it is, but I do know that you need an Exoterra heat pad for sure, because. This little bulb won't do it enough. And if you get a big one, they like to be under the heat pad, on top of the heat pad, so it helps them shed. So, that's pretty much it. Um, that's just a little video on the Egyptian sandfish, Laverne and Shirley. Um, pretty soon I'm going to the Reptile Expo, so, um... I'm going to be getting them um, a nice 20 gallon with, um, get three more Egyptians. And I'm going to get one different morph of an Egyptian sandfish just because there's so much. But, they're really cool. I will make a video of them eating next week because it's really cool when they eat. They, like, pop their heads and just go for it and drag it underground. It's so awesome. Um, I'll show you this just because it's out. It's a hermit crab. If you can see it, here I'll pull the lid off. No, I don't want him. Ouch, got my knee. Um, he's alright. Everyone else is doing good, actually. So that's um just an update on the Egyptian sandfish and a care guide for them. Um. 
pretty much it, all you need for them. Sometimes you can use a hut, but they don't really burrow, so that's that's it. So yeah. Um comment, rate. Um I'll make a video of some awesome subscribers and to subscribe to and um some awesome channels that you also should go check out. I'll tell you four of them right now. Go check out Corn Snake 33. Um, she has an awesome channel. Um, 